rules-based investing um, that's based on an investor's tolerance, risk tolerance, goals, and also timeline for investing. It provides the beginner investor especially the ability to manage a portfolio with, again, a, a rules-based approach to investing that's usually cheaper than the cost of working with a traditional financial advisor and even sitting down, where there could be some trepidation between the financial advisor and the newbie investor. Each robo is not created equal. We see a lot of different types of robo-advisors in the marketplace today. But I think there's some core features that could be really important to an investor. The first is support because no matter how great the interface is and how great the digital experience is, you're going to want to pick up the phone at some point in time and ask a question. Also too, you want to pay attention to transaction and trading fees. I mean, this is true with any financial advisors, but especially with robo-advisors, they're going to vary from one company to the next to the next. Another aspect is the how taxes are actually harvested and tax efficiency is handled. So some robo-advisors will handle this part about part for you, whereas other advisors or other robo-advisors won't necessarily touch that. You know, basically, I think the thing to understand with that is that for every trade, that's going to create a taxable event in your portfolio. So it's ideal, it's ideal that you're working with a robo-advisor that takes that into account and that rebalances your allocation periodically, but again, with that tax efficiency in mind, because it matters not only what you make, but definitely what you keep.